Start by disattaching your speaker. I already took screws out. I'm going to find a place on my front plate that is blank. That spot should do fine. In above view, make sure that you're not drilling into any important areas. There's a nice little cavity right there where I'm gonna be mounting my switch. I am gonna wrap it with plastic wrap just to make sure that none of the wires touch anything on that circuit board because that probably wouldn't be good. Dork than I am, while I was drilling, I missed. While I was pushing really hard, and my drill slipped and I smacked into the board and left some pretty deep ruts in it and pulled a couple I don't know if they're resistors, capacitors, I don't know that kind of thing but I just soldered them back into where I thought they should be and hopefully it still works um, cross your fingers um, this does fit now you can see what I'm trying to do now I have no idea what your wiring is like, so you're going to have to figure this out on your own, but I already cut the line out to the speaker. I'm about to splice in the new line. Alright, it's been an interesting job, but I think I'm done wiring in here. Alright, it's done. After you get everything assembled, before you screw all the assemblies back together, just make sure it works. And My guitar does work through the speaker part. Now I have to put together the talk box part. I got my amp assembly back together. Now we're going to assemble the talk box. You start with your horn driver. That on. Okay. Get it down as low as you can and then tighten that up. I forgot. Um, wrap it with your plumbing tape first. Once you get your flex couple on, then you need to uh, plumbing tape up the uh, this little uh, bushing, the the one inch male down to three eighths inch female. And then just set that in there. And then do the same thing right here. Tighten that up as tight as you can possibly get it. Do the same thing with the uh, three eighths male down to three eighths hose barbed with the pipe tape. Get it in as tight as you possibly can, and then put it wherever you need it. I'm going to pipe tape mine into the corner, screw screws into the pipe tape. Um, then I'm going to run this wire, which is for the horn driver, and uh, I'm going to glue gun it to the top. Okay, after you've done that, attach the wiring for your talk box, and then drill a hole. It has to be a half inch, if you're using half inch outside diameter um, tubing. Put your tubing through the hole, then use plumbing tape to hold it right there. Once you get that done, cut your hose, and now you can take the rest of your hosing and uh, just plug it on there, not unlike uh, line and input for a guitar. Uh, just plug it on whenever you need it, unplug it whenever you don't. Um, that's really handy because as you use this, you're going to spit. And that spit's going to run all in your tube. So this is really nice setup to unplug and clean the tube out. Um, don't eat and then use it. It's not good to have food in your mouth and get it down there. It's just gross. Uh, oh yeah. When you do start using it, this is, at least for me, is what I found is. Um, my tongue would clog up the hole sometimes and no sound would get out so I just made these tiny little holes all around the edge and that lets sound come through into my mouth really well now where you want to position it is right sitting on your molars most people I think do their left molars I use my my right side and just sits right there and um, if it's too far over you can't form words with your lips if it's too far in and it's in the center, you can't form words with your lips. Right there is pretty much the best that it gets. Please remember you're doing this on your own willpower. I'm not messing up your amp. Please don't mess up your amp. If you do, don't blame me. I'm sorry that you messed up, but please don't. 
You saw how I gouged my circuit board. It's easy to make mistakes. Be careful as you do this. Don't hurt yourself. One other thing, um, most people suggest a, a six foot tube. My, mine is still almost 10 feet. So if you want uh, probably it louder and the tone just sound better, you need to have the shortest tube possible. Um, or you can still stand up and use it. And that'll give you a better sound. It's solid, it doesn't fall out. It stays put. I made up a tape. Um, standby, speaker, talk box. You may want to put some sort of a foam or something here just to kind of block the sound from the actual horn driver um, so that you can hear the talk box better. Let's put it to the test. Tube. Line in for guitar. Power on. I have standby, speaker, standby, talk box. Probably not how you play that. Anyway, it does work and it works through the amp too. Once again, uh, I'm not liable if you damage anything. <laughs> No, it's not perfect, but it's almost airtight, and most of the sound is directed at you. And again, um, shorter hose, mine is 10 feet, and it's needing to be cut down to 6, and then it will probably work a lot better. Um, okay, hope you've enjoyed.